Hey everybody, so one of the more fascinating peptides that I've been researching into for probably about the past uh, two and a half years, uh, around that time I did some self-experimentation, but also uh, have been using clinically with my patients for about the past nine to 12 months is BPC-157, Body Protection Compound 157. To me, this is an interesting peptide for several reasons. The first is because it's a compound that's isolated from the from human gastric juice. So the gastric juice that's in your stomach, there is this compound called BPC-157 and they have isolated this and turned it into an injectable and an oral form. The other reason that it's interesting is because uh, it addresses two kind of issues that are really difficult to address in the regeneration realm, which is pure regeneration, um, but also gut healing. And so the two big things that this nerve, or sorry, that this, uh, that this peptide does is it helps to heal the gut lining and it also helps to heal soft tissue, nerves, joints, cartilage, and things like that. Now, I will caveat this to say that there have not been any uh, you know, big clinical trials done in humans on BPC-157 because it's not a pharmaceutical compound, it's not really considered a supplement, it's kind of in this gray zone area, uh, the peptides are. And so there hasn't been a lot of uh, human data research on it. However, there, uh, ha there was a study that was started uh, in Croatia for, uh, I believe it was Crohn's disease, where they were using BPC to look at the efficacy of it. And data for that has not been released. I'm not sure if the study's still ongoing, if where they're at in the study or anything like that. But there is a lot of research in rats showing that BPC is beneficial for nerve regeneration, for soft tissue regeneration, for gut healing. And so this is where it comes into play clinically in my practice. So for my patients who have a lot of gut issues and they, are, they have tried a lot of different conventional and alternative therapies, BPC is actually probably one of the first places I go, again, once they've exhausted everything else down the list. The conventional system cannot find anything wrong with them. They don't have an ulcer, they don't have H. pylori, um, and you look on the other side of things, they don't have SIBO, they don't have CIFO, they don't have the new term LIBO, which I'm not sure about right now, but they don't have these other issues functionally that could be contributing to whatever gut dysfunction, gut pain, um, malabsorption that they're having. BPC-157 works absolute wonders in those patients. On the other side of the realm, we have the patients who are really slow to heal after an injury um, or who have had a chronic injury that hasn't healed at all. Now, what I will say is that when we compare the response rates between the patients who need gut healing compared to the patients who need musculoskeletal healing, I'll probably say that the gut healing side of things tends to do better when we don't introduce a stimulus to the mix. What I mean by that is that when we add in a stimulus like a prolotherapy, PRP, or stem cell treatment, and then give the BPC after that procedure, patients are doing a lot better after the procedure and are getting a bigger response from the actual injection because we are utilizing the BPC. So we are giving the body a trigger with the injection to say, hey, go and heal this, and then we give BPC-157, either oral or injectable, uh, for anywhere from a 30 to 60 day period. And what we're seeing is during that time, compared to all the injections we've done in the past, where we haven't had the BPC or haven't used the BPC, the patients who get the BPC seem to be doing a lot better. 
Now again, I know there are layers to this. There's the placebo effect, especially if we're doing the injection. There's a whole bunch of different layers to why this may be working. At the end of the day, I'm happy if it's not harming my patient, that my patients are getting better, whether it's pure placebo or not. I know it can be a discussion for a different time and I always take a lot of flack for that, but that is my stance. If people heal, then people heal and I am happy about that regardless of the mechanism that we have to use in order to get that healing to happen. So we see that better with the injections, but on the gut healing side, we don't necessarily need to have that stimulus. And I'm not sure exactly why, but what I do know is that these patients who are chronically inflamed in their gut, they have the malabsorption, potentially leaky gut, they seem to do really, really well with the oral form of BPC. Now, in discussing the actual uh, where to get the peptides, so you can easily Google where to buy peptides online and you will see a whole host of websites that are selling peptides and it's basically a race to who can provide the cheapest, which in that situation could be detrimental because the people who are trying to offer it at a cheaper price are probably cutting corners somewhere. Maybe they have a dilute product. Maybe they actually don't have BPC in their product to even begin with. And so there are really only a small, small handful of places that I trust to send my patients. But the number one place that I send my patients is a compounding pharmacy. So the compounding pharmacy, uh, I believe it's based out of Kentucky, uh, where we get all of our uh, prescription grade peptides, not just the BPC, but our other growth hormone secretagogues, our LH analogs like Kispeptin, our Melanotan, different peptides that we can use for health and wellness we get it from a compounding pharmacy. The reason why is because this is an FDA regulated pharmacy, meaning that they have to be up to a certain level of standard in order to continue to produce things. And so while the peptides are not FDA approved, the facility that makes them is FDA approved. So we know that the product is pure, we know that the product is sterile, and we know that the product is what they're claiming the product to be. And so that's my caution if you're gonna go watch this and then go out and just Google where to buy peptides and purchase them. I know Ben Greenfield has talked about his trusted source. Um, there's another trusted source that I do use in Canada for patients who are out there where I'm unable to uh, use the compounding pharmacy for them. However, I, it's, a, it's a very, very small number of places that I trust for where to get peptides. So to bring this back in on a recap, BPC-157 is a peptide that comes from human gastric juice, which can be used for regeneration of the musculoskeletal system as well as the gut. I tend to find it works better for the musculoskeletal system when we have a trigger, meaning we've done a prolotherapy PRP uh, or stem cell injection. That trigger could also be an injury. So if someone has an injury, that is the trigger to heal for the body. And so in those situations, BPC-157 does work pretty well. On the gut side of things, I tend to prefer the oral form versus the injectable. On the um, pain side of things or the musculoskeletal, it, it's really a wash, I feel like clinically. It doesn't really depend on which one we use. Sometimes the injections work better, sometimes the oral works better, and so we just try to figure that out with each patient. So that's BPC-157 in a nutshell. Please comment below if you have any questions about it. I would love to answer them. See you later.